You guys, you want to see my favorite thing ever? Motherfucker! Motherfucker! I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Did you see that? Did you see that? My hopes just got shattered. That, that white Chevrolet just shattered my hopes. I made the mistake of turning my vehicle off though, so it's my fault. So basically, anytime that I pull into a parking spot and the person in front of me like leaves, that gives me this, this golden opportunity to just drive straight through that parking spot. And then it, it's the best, it's the absolute best when, when you can just leave and you don't have to back out. You can just go straight forward. That's amazing. But this white Chevrolet shattered my hope. Anyway, I got caught up in the moment though. I wanted, I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you. And then, and then I lost the chance to live my dream of being able to pull out of a parking spot going forward instead of going backward, okay? It's just little things. It's little things like that. I mean the absolute world and then I screw myself over because I want to talk about it <laughs> do you like my nails I'm a lot like a guy I mean women like do their nails you know women don't chew them up like I do and I, I've been doing this for a long time, but you know, women are usually like really dainty and you know, feminine. They take care of themselves. I always thought that take care of yourself meant don't kill yourself. Okay. <laughs> I thought that that was all that counted, but I guess not. I guess it's better to look good. You know, be be more presentable. Look at my hair, y'all. So the most presentable thing that I can do to my hair is is brush it. All right. Let's see if I have a hairbrush in here. I actually do have a hairbrush in here. I know that I need to, to cut it because of the split ends. So, everybody tells me that. But yeah, it's like, the part of, the part of the brain that motivates women to do what I'm doing right now, and Focus on that, focus on physical appearance, focus on face and body and hands and feet. <sighs> and like, you know, these women that go to the salon, these women that get facials and manicures and pedicures and they do all this stuff to pamper themselves. It's just, I don't understand that. It's like any time that I've ever done that, it's because other people did it for me, specifically women, you know, girly women that would buy me something that I didn't even want. And like this one time I got acrylics, I chewed the fuck out of them. Like within an hour, they looked like this, okay? I had to go back to the nail salon and get them removed because they look so shitty. But that's the thing. I've tried to tell women like there's no point you doing all this shit for me because I don't want it and because I don't want it, I'm not going to take care of it. It's like the same thing that I've tried to tell my parents in relation to really nice stuff that they get for me. And then they get mad that I don't appreciate it. And I'm like, well, I told you that I wasn't going to appreciate it from the beginning. I told you that I live in Trashville and, you know, I'm trying a lot harder though because I'm driving Mini Cooper and I, I feel guilty. Like every single time I step out of this vehicle, I, I just... I, I think that I stole it, you know? <laughs> 
and I'm pretty sure that other people are looking at me. I, I actually know what it's like to feel black, okay? So, <laughs> well, you know, uh, there's that whole thing that they talk about driving while black, DWB. So if you're driving a nice car, the police officer's like, you stole this, right? I get it. I get feeling black in America, okay? I didn't say being black, I said feeling black. I'm transracial, damn it. If you can be trans if you can be transgender, you can be transracial and transcontinental and trans agile. Can you be like trans religious? Can you think you're another religion? Well, because I'm pretty sure like a lot of these so-called Christians are actually Jews. <laughs> 